Hello everyone, and welcome in to... I think it's actually going to be the first stream where I will try and grab a couple platinum trophies just for the sake of it, I suppose. So uh, today we're going to be playing three slash five different games in order to go ahead and grab their platinum trophies. Uh, the first one being Mystopia. PlayStation 4 game developed by Ninja Rabbit Studio and developed, um, published a Roger Laka game. So everybody who knows Roger Laka games kind of already knows what to expect out of this one, uh, I guess, as, you know, the games published by this well, publisher are known for to be multi-platform and uh, you don't necessarily even have to finish the game unless I get the Platinum Trophy out of this. Now, again, this is only on PlayStation 4, as I'm, as far as I'm aware. Uh, so we're only going to get one Platinum Trophy out of this, uh, but we don't, or probably won't have to finish the whole game. So let's just go ahead and uh, see how long it takes us to get the Platinum Trophy. And no, I don't think Mousley is in this, but we do have uh, mice, obviously. I gotta hope our equipment can break. Yeah, I think this was uh, way before Mouchly uh, was a thing. Oh, okay, I have a sword. But obviously, since our bow broke, I can't use that. Ah, good thing it tells me how to jump. Yeah, I think this stone arch will never be important to the game, right? Oh. See, I don't even need to jump. This mushroom will just propel me upwards. I am way ahead of you, game. Way ahead of you. Okay. Village. <laughs> Talk to what? To that rabbit that just ran away? What? I mean, you know, it's nice to have the tutorials inside the game, but... So far, none of the tutorials lined up with what I had to do. Ah. Of course. Of course. I just came from the rest, didn't I? It's just gonna repeat the i guess people just or the mice uh, the map the mice just have a really short-term memory because you know they apparently immediately forgot about that conversation they had earlier okay so let's just this is not where it came from <laughs> absolutely not okay map is very helpful so far that's the attack being on circle is like really huh? like why why isn't there isn't anything on square why is it on circle circle is the dodge button that is what it's supposed to do square is the attack button of them okay so that was our first enemy very proud of us to killing that. It's like a crystal crab kind of thing. It's a bad bat. All through a platform, huh? Of course. Of course. Can we finally not have contact damage, please? Now, what are you? Ow. Hurtful is what you are. Okay, I think I'm down to one health. Yep, there we go. Alright then. And we just spawn back in the village. I gotta say that this sword has very short reach. I mean, probably typical because, uh, you know, we are a mouse. Then again, something with a little bit more reach would definitely be preferable. Like a bow. 
that we expertly broke before the game even began in earnest. I guess these green things are some kind of currency that we're going to use later. And of course the enemies all respawn when you leave the screen. Because of course they would. Also there doesn't seem to be any reason to kill these bats. I disagree. Uh, something tells me you're not supposed to fight these guys just yet. Because you can just bypass them as well. Not anymore, you can't. Oh my god, really? Danger. That's great with only one health. Yeah, the kid wants to teach us something. Why do I get the feeling that we immediately have to go back to the village to get what is teaching us? So that actually works in our favor that we died here. Alright, kid. What can you teach me? Double jumping. Ah. Exactly what I needed to progress in the caves. Because there was the one path that we couldn't go to before. It's gonna collect all these gems. Yeah, here. Oh god. Actually can get our health back, that's good to know. I'm not gonna lie, it does feel like death warping is kinda of the way to go in this game. You know, if you have to go back to the village every time you save one of these mice to get another ability out of them. Because obviously they can't teach you that while you're still, you know, in the cave. No, you have to go back to the village to grab that ability. That makes sense somehow. Oh, it goes back. Well, that's kind of stupid of you, isn't it? Okay, so what is this? A secret. Okay, we don't have a map. A piece of the fountain. Everything is black. We're back. Okay. I guess we have to find these fountain pieces. I'm really all glad I got so much money before I didn't get anything to do with it. Actually makes you kind of afraid of a very inflated merchant, or very inflated prizes, rather. Because in a game like this, or, you know, when it is the way how it is presented here, what normally happens is uh, the game kind of expects you to have a lot of money to be able to buy whatever it is we will be able to buy in, in a little while. Oh, of course, the enemies can fly through the terrain, because of course they can. Dead. You talk a lot for a dead man, I'd say. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed at the music. I mean, it's not terrible, it's just very repetitive. Gonna find another piece of the mountain. Oh, yeah, the, I really love the design of the health bar for sure. I mean, so far, you know, the game isn't bad by any stretch of the imagination it's just very basic and if you can get this game like you can get a well you know it's a metroidvania you get a thousand others like this that are probably a little bit more competent in what they're doing so probably also way worse games out there so yeah. i guess this yeah okay if i go through here can i actually come back okay i can all right is there any point of me coming back here at the moment? I guess it's just a shortcut back into the mount- Ugh, into the mountain. Into the village. 
Let's go left first then. I was starting to wonder if there's actually only two areas. Like, you know, the caves and the forest. Those are actually on the further areas later on. You can burn spider web. Okay. How? I guess I need the bow or something to shoot an arrow through the flames to burn the spider web. Is that it? Is that what I have to do? Sorry, what I have to do. But I don't have the bow yet. What I do have is potentially a lot of green gems. Because I guess the counter maxes out at 999. I mean, maybe it'll be more. I don't know. I have the high ground. I guess these are never watched Star Wars. This is a super obvious passage to another area. Why is that not marked on the map? Because it's a secret area, duh. But I mean, come on. Gotta be literally blind to not notice that. I'll mark my words as I probably miss the next area or something. And why even should I bother fighting you guys? Other than more gem pieces that I don't know how many I need to actually buy anything. At least for now, currency is basically useless. Is it me or does this game kind of feel too big? There's a whole lot of nothing here. There's a mouse. Just standing around. Hello. Uncle Smith. disease I gave you a bow why I was gonna ask why he can't give me that to me now and here and he probably has it in the village which then raises the question why couldn't I just go and pick these up by myself but yeah he must have find some reason to make me go back to the village right I swear to god if I have to buy arrows I'm gonna be furious I'm not gonna explore these other rooms just yet, just in case, and you know, we run into another issue where I need a new ability to make anything work. Okay, where's the smith? There he is. What do you mean if I found the Oh, it's up there. It wasn't here before. The Saiyan. Oh god, I do have limited hours, don't I? Upgrades, okay. Of course he needs more stones. See, that, that is exactly what I meant. He doesn't even tell you how many more stones I need. Uh, see, I want to press square to attack. Ah, and no, you can't con reconfigure controls if anybody's thinking about asking that. I checked. Now that we can pick up arrows, it dilutes what we can loot from these vases. So I'm not getting as many gems anymore. The game's going a little bit overboard with the arrows now, isn't it? Okay, we can go further down. We can pick up another secret. Oh, that's an instant kill. Of course. What? All right, done. Mega Man game rules. Gotcha. And yes, the arrows do light up. You shoot them through a fire. What a champ. <laughs> Just stands there taking the shot. <laughs> I mean, what really is the point of me getting these vases? To get more gems, I suppose. You know, currency. And probably because I can. I mean, so far, this really much feels like much ado about nothing. Like, what am I even doing all this for? There barely seem to be any upgrades scattered around the map. So why even explore it other than for money? Probably need to get some passive damage bonus upgrades or whatever. But we're definitely getting our full worth out of this, uh, I don't know, 10 second music loop. Okay, why the hell there be another transporter here? Like at the ass end of nowhere. Like what? Hey, what even happens when I go through this? Okay, I guess there's only one wall pole that I can go through. Well, that's great. Hey, like, why doesn't he tell me how many more stones I need? Oh shit. Okay, I guess we could just go straight left. Because I'm definitely not gonna, you know, make my way from down there back up again. Let's 
I mean, I guess at least it gives you, you know, an easy way out of that dead end. But what was that dead end even for, other than for the teleporter to get out of it? Like, we, did we didn't find anything there. Other than being able to fight more enemies to, uh, you know, get more gems that we still don't have enough of for a single upgrade. I'm really just afraid that I'm not picking up enough of these gems because I'm starting to skip encounters. So I won't be able to get, you know, the necessary upgrades at some point. But obviously, he doesn't tell me what those upgrades are and how much money I even have to pay for them. So that's great. Makes me really excited to get those upgrades, guys. Really excited for those upgrades. Oh, okay. It just takes a while. Got it. Okay, I can get 99 arrows. It is obviously it's kind of weird to me when you can get, like, you know, 99 arrows. Like, if you can get those many, uh, that many arrows... Why is there even a limit to them in the first place? Like, I would have to go through, I don't know, how many encounters before I would need to grab more. So why not make it limitless in the first place? He still needs more stones. Like, what is this mythical upgrade that you're going to give me? Do they need this many stones for? I mean, obviously, they're, they're not that hard to come by, but damn. Maybe I do need 999. And it will be the best thing ever, you know, that elevates my life. Gonna be the super ultra master sword fireball attacks and uh i don't know invincibility and lifesteal freezing the enemies whenever you attack them probably just gonna get one more health oh okay here we're boss okay i can't sh i can't shoot the bow while i'm jumping why does he sound like a dude when i hit them i guess i found a way to explore the boss oh Low on health, so obviously he starts shooting faster. What a thrilling fight. What else is he supposed to be? He's the only other mouse in here. Oh! <laughs> well, there we go. There is Ashley. So I guess Ashley is in the game after all. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> when did this game release? Oh, it actually released at the end of 2022. I mean, it technically pre. Wait, when did, when did Mousley become a thing? It was also the only recently, wasn't it? Yeah, so this actually predates Mousley. Guys, I think we actually found the source of Mousley here. Wait, he's a boy? Okay, so so this is getting deep lore now, isn't it? Um, guys, Marshall is actually a boy. She has, or he has a lot of things to do. Eh, hey, Ashley. God damn it. I mean, you know, we saved Mousley from a dragon. So, um, take that, Leon. That dragon sounded awfully a lot like a dude when you hit him, but let's ignore that for a moment, shall we? So the only other way to go, I guess, is down there. Unless I am missing something completely. I think it's best if we just go back. Like, um, like go back, back. Go ahead and talk to Ashley. Mousley, sorry. Now I know how to roll. Okay. And roll now on R1. I mean, they're all looks cute. Okay, millionaire back. So to God, if he still doesn't give me an upgrade of 300 gems, I'm gonna have words with that blacksmith. Okay, 300. Finally. Okay, I've got a sword. Oh, now it tells you how much you need. Oh my God. 500 more. Ugh. There are probably three upgrades in the whole game at 300, 500, and 1,000. 
So I guess we'll deal one point more of damage now because we kill everything one hit faster. Eternal lamps with their sword. Okay, how is that helpful? Why does it tell me about that now? If anybody sees the point of that, I mean, oh. There you go. Why doesn't it tell you when you are on the screen? Or maybe it was the screen where, you know. Ah, oh, that became relevant. But didn't it actually tell you when you were there. Where you need to perform that action. Oh, the bow also deals more damage now. I think I actually killed that thing in two... You know, the lizard. Two arrows now? Instead of four? So do, do we actually deal double damage? One... Yeah, I guess we'll do double damage now. Oh, okay. I guess that sort of bird actually was pretty good. Oh, please tell me there isn't a trophy for getting all the upgrades. I'm gonna suck. Then again, if we dealt one damage before, now we deal two damage. That's actually double damage, so... Basically the same thing in this case. I guess on the next one we'll just deal uh, three damage. I'm at the point where the music starts to be catchy again. Again, why go down here? Other than to kill more enemies to get more gems. I mean, you know, it's a much harder thing. You gotta have something down here other than just, you know, money for passive upgrades. Oh, God. Eh. Yeah, that enemy was deviously hidden behind my health bar. I couldn't double jump. Uh, I guess that is how we get more gems, right? Just keep dying. Can you not see this? I don't know, game. Your secret rooms really aren't that secret, are they? Which I guess at least makes identifying them easier. Because if you see, you know, there should be a locked a wall here. There's a pathway, you know. Hey, secret. I'm gonna die to this bad on there. I actually have full health again. Was it when I entered the secret area? Also, the fact that these bats just give you nothing is kind of infuriate. I was thinking to myself, mm, don't want to deal with that bat. And I was like, eh, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And then it was not fine. And another piece of the fountain. Are you guys excited about that upgrade that awaits us at 500 gems yet? Just excited to get out of this area to get that on the music loop going. <laughs> I literally, the only reason why I shoot this spider web to open up this area is to get this one vase which has two gems in it. Oh, he can just walk over the spikes because, of course, he can. I found the piece of the fountain because I'm so good at the game. Oh, that is what they need to roll for. I see. I oh, imagine coming all the way down here and then finding out, hey, sorry, dead end, you don't have the ability. I mean, I guess that is what a Metroidvania is about, but yeah. So, do we need this check or do we want this checkpoint? I wonder. Oh, I guess so. There's probably gonna be another boss here. Danger. Because I can't hit him with that. What a boss fight. What did I get for defeating him? Oh, room funny number. What did I have to defeat him? Did that do anything? I don't know. Ah. 
Uh, it kind of was, actually. Green disease. All right, into the forest. Hey, new music. I guess this one isn't actually too bad. So far. I don't know, I wonder how I'll ever get past this blockade. Ow. I really, really wonder. Oh, there we go. It is actually kind of tanky. I actually can go up. Interesting. What if we don't? Did not want to go down. Oh my god. Are you shitting me? It sped up to hit me. Ah. Uh, god, I have to go all that way back. Frickin' frock. Okay, I hate the frogs. <laughs> I officially hate the frogs. Yeah, you. You and your entire species. Especially frog hater now. Do we ever get a health upgrade? That kind of doesn't feel like it. Okay, let's go up this time. Nah. I mean, I climbed the screen on the left side, so I don't know why I'm on the right side now. And hey. Game logic, right? It was the most menacingly. a menacing bunny I ever encountered. Oh, really? This is all just for a teleport. Isn't that great? It's not even that much faster. Like. If you want to put a shortcut or something in your game, maybe actually make sure that it's a shortcut. Uh. <laughs> I'm not taking that shortcut again. And so just go through here. Same way and kind of safer. As well as I can tell at least. Frogs, please. Stop killing me. Man, fuck these frogs. Honestly. Oh, look, it's not a secret. I should find all the mountain pieces. Okay, guys, that was everything here. So I'm going back down and to the right. I wonder if we'll actually get 500 of these gem pieces before we finish this game. Like, why are these bunnies even angry at us? What did we ever do to them? I mean, the frogs, I can understand because they're just assholes, but... The bunnies? Why are the bunnies so aggressive? Yeah, I'm dead, aren't I? Yep, there we go. Uh... <sighs> but yeah, you do gain full health when you go into these secret areas. I guess that's a plus. You do you gain full health when you come out of them? <laughs> I hate these rocks. Very much hate them. Not a fan. I mean, up, down, up. That's the way to go, right? I might actually get that sword upgrade. Accelerating fight. Okay, who are you? On Rose. Able to heal me. Well. Guess we don't have to find anything out what that does to us, does it? Uh, do we? Because uh, we got the platinum trophy. <laughs> and uh... And then, I think I'm good. Okay, let's talk to Aunt Rose. Let's see what that healing business is all about. Oh wait, did I say her? Uh-huh. 
so. So what does that do? Does it literally just heal you when you're there? Do you actually have to go back there when you're wounded? Because of course that's a convenient to do. Yeah. What? That, 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 that. Ah. This is useless. These portals are way too far apart to be of any use. And once you activated them, you can go to the village whenever you want to anyway to, you know, you just die and go and, uh. Hey, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, the game's cute. It's not broken or anything. It's just... Oh, yeah, Platinum Trophy. <laughs> kind of forgot that. I kind of forgot that when I got it, didn't I? Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to finish this. I got a platinum trophy that is all I wanted out of it and uh done. Next. Roll the cat. It's a puzzle game, I think. Uh don't worry, there are 50 levels, but we only have to I think we come need to complete like half of them or something. Sugar. It's very affectionate. There's always room to play with others. This is Jelly. She's playful and always wakes up sugar. Uh -huh. Big scratches. It was an accident. I'm sure it was not. Cat toy. They never play with it. <laughs> I think any cat owner can attest to that. Remote control. They always play with it. Of course. Turns on sound of music. Turns off sound of music. Okay. The square is undo. So close restart. Triangle is extra menu. Okay. Oh. Oh. So you literally roll the cat into its bed. So it goes back to sleep. Is that it? Oh, I see. Hang on down here and then roll her over like that. There you go. Imagine your cat lying this still on the ground. That you just literally roll them over into their beds. And so why does she keep reconfiguring her apartment like that? Her room or other? But also imagine you take um, your cat taking up so much space that you can't step over them. <laughs> Those are some chunky cats. I see how it'd be. Imagine having to do this to your cat like every day or so. Actually, pretty straightforward.
Um. Ah. Roll you all the way around. But wait. And uh, looking at this, uh, wouldn't it be easier to just rearrange the furniture instead of rolling the cats to the beds? <laughs> just look at how smug this little bastard looks anyway. Like he knows if he just keeps lying in the way long enough that he will come by and just roll him into his comfy bed. I also, I mean, I should probably change the title here, shouldn't I? Okay, um, I mean, you have to come over. Oh, yeah, huh. then just go there and blow. Yeah. to the bets from the left. Pretty sure. That lady has to move a lot. There's different apartments and whatnot. How much force does she apply to these kittens? Or cats that they roll through the whole tube. So what if I try to push both of them in there? Okay, you can't do that. Oh, okay. So they actually can move on their own, the lazy bastards. I mean, cats, right? Kind of expect it.
mean, you have to roll to this cat to the left. There's no way around that. And from there, you can only roll it down. Can you? I mean, I could roll it up, but that would be done it anyway. So you have to roll it down. Means I have to roll this here. Did we get the roll puck? I don't know. Oh, I'm an idiot. Can just do this. Duh. But I can definitely see this working with pugs as well. Oh. Okay. Be charcoal. Oh god. We got a third can. He is a shadow creature. But don't worry, he's a lovely shadow creature. Oh. Right. Spend more time in boxes than in their beds. <laughs> Pretty sure all these objects are on my desk before I went to sleep. Yeah, sounds accurate. Girl of the lamp button. Okay, does this factor into the gameplay at all? Yep. He sure would. <clears throat> he sure would. Oh. I see. How did you get a third cat that is as lazy as the others? Oh, oh wait. There we go. Doesn't work. Oh. This works, though. Gonna roll you out of the way. Roll you over. There we go. Huh. Guess I do have to do this one by one. I think this is all that we need to do. Well, there we go. That's our Black Nymph Trophy. That is easy enough. Like I said, it's uh, about half of the game done. We made it to level 25. You don't have to finish the other levels out of that. And uh, you know what the great thing about this game is? You can get the Platinum Trophy in the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 4 version of the game. Because it's another game by Roger Laika. So you're just going to do it all over again. <laughs> Grab another Platinum. Isn't that great? Everything that you just saw, uh, go straight ahead and do it all over again. Exciting, isn't it? That is what it's all about, being a trophy hunter. Getting the maximum. I mean, there are actually complete guides out there. Text guides that tell you all the directions that they need to roll the cats and whatnot. But theoretically, I wouldn't even need to look at the game. I could just look at the solution. But where would be the fun in that, right? That's not fun. You want to see how those cats get rolled. I mean, kind of lie. It looks kind of cute. I'll tell you something. Those are some chunky cats. But are they heckin' chunkers? Speedrun in this. I'm pretty sure there's some person out there who has done a speedrun of this. I mean, it's rolling cats. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna check this. Is this game on speedrun.com? It's not. Nobody has done an official speedrun of this. I am shocked. How can this be? <laughs>
I mean, I guess. You submitted as platinum percent or something. Be the world record holder. And it was the one from Mystopia. Hey, Mystopia is actually... There's a leaderboard for it there. Any percent. 8 minutes, 43 seconds. Now we know. <laughs> this is how you become a speedrunner, ladies and gentlemen. You just find a random ass game. And start doing stuff about it. Da -da 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 -da. I mean, ESA submissions are still open, right? <laughs> so imagine... You calling your cats... Jelly and sugar pretty sweet and then they got charcoal liquor exactly so i get that you don't want to disturb your cats but god damn can't you just step over them if they're not that big are they in the chunky but not that chunky also hey another platinum done the next game on our list is gonna be taco ban another game published by roger like games so as you can probably tell we're gonna get another two platinum trophies out of this I don't know if it'll beat the whole game. Only a couple of it. I've actually no idea what this game is about, so... Let's see. Tutorials. I think I have to do all the tutorials, so... I guess that would teach us what the game is all about. Move the panda. Push the box on the target area to complete the level. The less box movement you make, the more bamboo you will have as a reward. Okay. It's a very weird panda though. I don't think they're normally blue. Now what? Let's go to switch between panda movement mode and level movement mode. In level movement mode, you can move parts of level to create new paths. Oh. Interesting. Got some sort of conveyor belt mechanism going on here. The doors are blocking the way. They won't open unless their symbols match. Hmm. Okay, box of different colors. To finish the level, place the box on the right target by moving level parts. Oh boy. Okay, I can see this getting uh, pretty interesting pretty fast. The pass has a box of Sue, but block the panda. Find another path of the panda by jumping with X and moving more level parts. Doesn't really work, does it? there I mean I guess that works ah, there we go I 
The double pushes move the box regardless of the direction of arrival. arrival. Okay. Oh, that still worked? What? The other box is movement of the panda and the boxes. They break only if a box falls on them. of them may be fixed. Some cannot be moved. Huh. To open these doors, the switches must be activated with a panda or a box. Warning, some switches are permanent, others must remain activated. No, I'm thinking this works, huh? Yeah. On the right track, I just believe in myself. Those boys move the boxes. They have no effect on the panda. We didn't get 100% in that one, didn't we? Ah, we also missed a couple of trophies. Torch here. Yeah. That always emits something of a mistake here.
Mm. Not really sure why that worked and the last time it didn't, but I... Alright, so that was the uh, tutorial. It actually has co-op as well. There's Tao Zhang. Okay, so we have to clear four of the beginner levels. And I actually do have a guide with me here, so in order to, you know, speed this up a little bit, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try and blindly follow that. And actually do this. Oh, we should be on the block. Oh, I understand. Okay. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be so questioning of that guide. Because apparently it actually works. on Okay, and now we can go ahead and jump into the junior levels. We have to do only three of them.
It's kind of convenient. Okay, I confused myself. Shit. Start over. <laughs> to do one on expert and one on master. over here let me go right twice let me go left jump up there jump up here here left over there a little. Oh my god. Okay. One. Down. One. Up. One. Down. Up. Okay. One to the right. Yes. Right. Two. Down. Left. Up. Right. Where? Where? Down, left, up, left, down, right, right, 
up, left, down, left, right, down, left, up, right, down, up, left, left. Left, Jesus. There we go. Right, up, left, down, one, two, three, up, left, left, down, right, right, up, left, left, down. Uh, right. What a level. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, and now we just have to do a couple of Mr. Lianis trophies. So that we go to Expert 2. So we can jump up on top of that. Go left. Up right. Left. Right. One. Two. Three. Left. Down. Right. Up. One. Two. Three. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, that was the trophy. I'm gonna go to expert seven. Right, right, down, left, up, right. I go one, two. Down, left, up. One, two. Down, right. Up, left, left. Five to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Down, right, up, right, down, left, up. And then seven times to the right. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright. And one last one. I got to master eight. Or we just have to keep moving the blocks on until we get 150 moves. So literally could just keep doing this, I guess. I mean, I guess it could be more crafty with them as well. Down, left, up, right. Down, left, up, right. I mean, you want 150 moves in total. I might just keep doing this until the trophy pops. Exciting. And there we go. That's another platinum trophy. How exciting. Uh, yeah, let's get to the menu. Yeah, that's Takaban, and now you get it's platinum trophy. I guess figuring this out on your own. Uh, can be a little bit tricky. All right, it's actually a pretty interesting game, I think. Not too shabby. But obviously, what would be better than one trophy in Chakoban? Other than, probably guessed it already, two platinum trophies in Chakoban. <laughs> because again, it's a Roger Laka game. They do like to publish the games on at least two systems. So we get the pleasure of doing this all over again. Isn't that Great. I just following the guide, and also for the tutorial levels, just to speed the process up a little bit. Okay, what's the beginner levels? To the junior levels. Okay, there were levels. Expert level. Yep, that was the expert level. And then that one master level. <laughs> Uh, 
And now to knock out the Michelin Astrophys again, we go back to Expert. Expert 2, and then push both of them. Then we go to Expert 7. And we go to use it works. And then we go back to Master 8. And then just, again, fumble around until we are done that case goddamn yeah there we go awesome oh yeah we need the order on 50 in one level That's this game done. I mean, kinda. Didn't really complete it, but we did get a platinum trophy out of it twice. So hey, that's good enough for me. I did 60 run out of 165 what exactly? It's not levels. Oh yeah, total levels completed, 25. So what does that 60 mean? Eh, I don't know. I seriously, I just know that I am done with this game. Twice.